Thank you. Um, I also want to thank the Hall of Fame Committee, the Athletic Department, the Alumni Association for putting this wonderful evening on. Um, to the fellow inductees, this is an accomplished and deserving group to be um, surrounded by tonight, and I'm very, very honored to be a part of it. And to my family and friends, thank you for being here. It's very nice to travel with you all here. So. so when I received the call from Jan earlier this year to let me know I'd be part of this year's Hall of Fame class, to say I was surprised is an understatement. But it really has given me the opportunity to, um, sorry, it's really given me the opportunity over this last few months to reflect on my time at WNL and really be thankful for everything the university and its experiences have provided me with. You hear many people talk about how special WNL is, but at times it's hard to put into words just why it is so special. I think for me, one of the greatest parts of WNL were the friends I met and the experiences I shared with them. I started to think about the first few days here, and as volleyball was a fall sport, we were here before both students. I will never forget the first two people I met, Ashley Overly and Laura Byrne, who also happened to be my teammates and lived in the same dorm. I still laugh remember Laura's mom refusing to leave her dorm room because her thermometer on her fan wouldn't get below like 80 degrees and she was afraid she'd be too hot to, to sleep at night. Um, I soon met the other girls that would make up the volleyball freshman class and learned that there were six of us in the incoming class. And a lot of those pictures you'll see, there was six of us. We played all four years together, which is amazing and very incredible experience to not lose anyone throughout the years. So we were a very tight-knit group. Um, we were able to join and be welcomed by an awesome group of teammates that already set such high standards for us and for the program. Stacy Kimmel, who's here, was the lone senior, and she had really set the standards high for that program. We had great success on the court. We were undefeated in our conference and conference champions all four years, but really, truly enjoyed each other. We had great success on the court, but little did I know that at the time, we would have some great experiences playing, we would become lifelong friends. We have lived together, seen each other move, switch jobs, have children, get married, and remain close no matter what. When we get together, it seems like no time has gone by, even though it could be years. I think one of my favorite things about volleyball is how much of a team sport it is. Everyone must be on the same page, give it their all, and completely trust each other to do their job. The strong relationships we had off the court allowed us to play together at such a high level, fully trusting and believing in each other. My teammates, I owe you a huge thank you for your friendship, fun, and memories. I definitely would not be standing up here if I did not have you all surrounding me all four years, so thank you. Some days I think about heading back to preseason and being so sore we could barely sit down, or going on our road trips, eating a massive bag of trail mix before we left. I wish we could sing the swing again before a game, or go to another team party at Coaches, or maybe my favorite activity at just sitting with our team in our comfy blue suits with nothing else to worry about. These are only a few of a long list of amazing memories from WNL, but to me, this is why the university was so special. Another influential part of my time at WNL was Coach Snyder, and he's not here today because he's playing currently. Um, for those of you who know Coach, know he loves a good itinerary. I mean, down to the minute. <laughs> so this being said, he always got us where we need to be and on time with which a group of girls can be kind of difficult to do. So I think some of his scheduling has worn off on me when I see how I plan getting my children out of the house every day. So I do appreciate that. Coach, you were always supportive of me on and off the court, making sure I focus both on the court and inside the classroom. You subtly pushed and challenged me to do more, give more, and make sure that we realize what a special university we played for. I'm forever grateful for you and Holly for your guidance and support over the years. I couldn't have imagined this experience without you both, so thank you. Although my brother Brian can't, couldn't be here this evening as he's traveling around Italy, I do want to thank him for letting me follow him everywhere, including WNL. I know I was always annoying little sister. <laughs> Growing up, I just wanted to do whatever he was doing. I guess that stuck with me when I was looking at colleges. I was set on going to a larger school, but after one visit, I was sold. Thank you for always being a great role model and example to look up to. To my husband, thank you for your constant support and encouragement you provide to me and our family. We are very grateful for all that you do for us. I hope this trip to WNL makes you understand why it's just a special place to me. And most importantly to my parents, for always being my constant support system and biggest cheerleader. Thank you for traveling all over the country with me to pursue my dream of volleyball, picking me up at 9 p.m. on school nights, an hour away from our house at a gym, and your continued support through college. 
I will never forget my dad unexpectedly showing up at a tournament in the middle of Tennessee. No one even knew. He was there for two games and left. <laughs> Without your loving guidance, who knows where I would be today. You both, both, you both knew how to get me fired up, knew when to leave me alone after a loss, and at the end of the day, no matter what, you made sure I knew you were proud of me. I hope my children can grow up to feel the same love and support that you have provided and continue to provide me. Thank you again. It's an honor to be here.